everyone, my name is Paula Tuan Unifede and my brother Dola Bongi Unifede. I hope you are having a great weekend. How are your online classes going? I hope you are going so well. It's time for the word of God. Grab your book, pen and Bible and, and enjoy, enjoy the service. Hello, good morning friends. It's good to be here with you on another Sunday and um, last week and um, we talked about Jesus being all we need. I hope that through the week you were able to see that Jesus is actually the one you need in every aspect, irrespective of whatever um, you're going through or whatever the world is even going through right now. I hope you were able to see that Jesus is everything and is all we will ever need. Um, this morning we'll be sharing... Um, Jesus is the way to heaven. Our title is Jesus is the way to heaven. Now, this topic is very important because a lot of people have come up with different things about getting to heaven. I'm sure um, some of you must have heard about people saying a lot of things, you know, even Christians saying things that, you know, saying things some really very funny things about maybe you doing a particular thing, you praying in a particular way, you praying in some people's names, and you know, or doing some things that uh, that you think is the way to heaven. In um, our teaching today, we'll be looking at a scripture that actually tells us that there is no other way to heaven except through Jesus, and that scripture is um, John 14:5. 5 to 14. So we'll be reading from John 14, 5 to 14. And I'll read from here. It says, Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? Even after I've been among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father, and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or at least believe on the evidence of the works himself. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing. And they will do even greater things than this. Because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. So that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Now, this was Jesus um, explaining to his um, disciples. They were confused about, about who Jesus was. They were confused about the identity of Jesus. And just as I said earlier, people come up with different things. People will tell you different things that, oh, that um, um, Jesus, is not, Jesus is not God. You know, and they'll tell you that, oh, that you don't, you, don't, um, you don't do this in Jesus' name. or You know, a lot of things. But what our teaching is telling us today that, we'll, that the, um, Jesus is the only way to heaven. Jesus is the only way to heaven. There is no other way, okay? There is no other way. Romans um, 10, 9 also talks about that if you believe in your heart and you confess in your heart that Jesus is Lord, then you'll be saved. You know, and a lot of people say a lot of things that, oh, if you, you know, if you, um, if you read your Bible, if you pray every day, you make sure that, um, that, you know, they say a lot of very funny things. Some people even say that, oh, when somebody is dying and then the person prays and then the person will go to heaven. There, there, there are a lot of things like that that people would, you know, would, would tell you that may want to confuse your identity of who Christ is. Christ has said that the only way to God, the only way to God is to believe in Jesus. Now, just imagine that you want to get to a particular destination and there are different routes. There are many times when you're trying to, I'm sure many of you, when you're driving to church, so your parents take different ways and, you know, sometimes you might ask them that, this way is strange to me. And, and it's the same way that humans, we think that 
since there are different ways to get to a particular place, then there has to be different ways to get to Jesus or to get to heaven as well. But what Christ is saying and what he was telling his disciples here, that there is only one way, and that way is true Jesus. And that way is true Jesus. So it's the same um, attitude I want you to have from our teaching today to understand that you should not, the scripture also said it, that we should not be swayed by, you know, by all different um, doctrines, different winds of doctrines, because it is very clear that it is only in believing in Jesus and confessing, confessing um, him in your heart that you can truly be saved. So that is just the only way. There is, there is no other way. And that's the thing with God. God doesn't, he doesn't um, take us on a merry-go-round journey. He, likes, he, he would tell us exactly as it is. Now, some of the reasons why some people might think that, oh, there, there are different ways is because some of us Christians or some of us believers, I'm sure you have some of your friends too, that they call themselves Christians. But you might be asking yourself that this person still does this. Maybe this person is the head of the fellowship in my school, but I still find, um, I still find him cheating in exams and all that. And you might think that because these people do those things, then it is right. The Bible already makes it very clear to us that it's only, it is only through Jesus that we can actually get to God. It is only through Jesus that we can actually get to heaven. So I, I want to encourage you today that irrespective of what a lot of people are doing, because people always present themselves to you as examples, okay? It's good to, to emulate good things that people do, but it's also good to understand what the Bible says. That's the reason why we should always, we should be like Berean, the Berean Christians. Whatever it sees, it sees you here, always make sure that you ask questions from maybe um, 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 pastor in church or your parents or people that have spiritual authority over you because people can show you different characters and they will tell you that oh i'm still a christian it doesn't change who i am or it doesn't change this because i'm doing this doesn't mean that that i'm not a child of god but the important thing or one thing that is basic is the word of god and the word of god is clear about who god is that there is no way we can get to, to the father except through jesus christ and is in believing that Jesus, um, it, is be, it is in believing in our hearts that Jesus saved us and it is in confessing him with, um, with our mouth that we, can, that, that we can be saved. I'll tell you a quick story. Um, when I, um, I was in SS3, I remember then we are going to write our WAEC. Usually before um, WAEC um, um, happens, there are a lot of things that, you know, that happen. Then people always, you know, what we used to call expo, people always get a lot of, you know, like answers to the examinations and everything like that. But I, myself and a couple of friends, we had to, um, we, 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 we had to ask ourselves questions if we really wanted to do things like that. And believe you me, people that were doing it were, were people we looked up to, like, like the, those that were like, the spirit cocos in in um, in school and all that. So a lot of people were getting all of the expos, preparing the exams. They already had the answers before the before the um, exam. So they were they were preparing to the answers. And at that time, it, it was very difficult for me to actually understand how people that I thought were my spiritual leaders were still doing things like that. And that's the reason why I told you that. People, you should not tell um, you should not base your your faith or your belief in God in what people do, because people will show different characters. What you should base your faith or your belief is in what the Word of God says. And remember that you are what the Word of God says about you. No other thing. Everything the Word of God says is who you are, not the example people show or what people do. So I want you to live with that today, that the only way to get to the Father, the only way to get to God is through Jesus, not through what some people do or not through the behavior or the acts of people. And also make sure to let people see through your life as well that the only way to get to God is through Jesus. When people see Jesus in you, when they see you work in the examples and the life with Jesus lived, then they know that, oh, the path through Jesus is actually clear. Many people live different lives, and that's the reason why a lot of people see that, oh, since this person is living like this, I can go this way and I, and, and I can still be a Christian. But I want to charge you today, I want to challenge you to live a life after the word, because it is only that life that is the life that, that 
that God wants and it's only that life that is in the word of God that leads to Jesus. And I hope that as you do this, that the Lord will continue to strengthen you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for your teaching again today. We thank you for how you have shown us and let us know that it is only through you that we can get we can it is only through Jesus that we can get to you. Lord, we ask that even as a lot of things happen in the in the world, a lot of a lot of things that may come our way, Lord, we ask that you help us to stand firm in you. And we ask that you help through our lives to actually show Jesus and show other people that you are the only way to get to God. Thank you, Father, for strengthening us. Thank you that you continue to be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. I look forward to seeing you again, sharing with you again in the next service. And I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're, you're working in the lines and the teachings of God. And I hope that the Lord will continue to strengthen you as you do that in Jesus' name. I'll see you next week. Bye. That was a great word from my teacher. I enjoyed the service. Did you? Yes, I did. See you next week. Peace.